Gentlemen, here we are again. Here we are. How does it feel the first day that you're on set? You look around. I imagine it's like the first day of school. You know, you haven't seen your friends like summer vacation. You go back. Everybody's in costume. Everybody's ready to do this. How does it feel your first day back? We were just talking about that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like every two yeah. years. It's really, it's a really every, every lovely trip years, to get yeah. together again because we all, yeah. we all get on pretty well. And it's not just the actors; it's the writer, the director, the cameraman. We've, we've been in continuity, which has been hair, makeup, and so yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So really, is so it, it really is like then just going back to school. Well, it's, I can't think of a better way to put it than the way you put it. Yeah, it is like going back to school. If 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 your your thought about going back to school is with your friends and not the mean kids. Yeah, we've gone from <laughs> kindergarten violence to stuff, and now we're in PhD in violence. Hey, in this, it's point. your fourth year. You're seniors now. Whoa. All right, let's talk college. Um, tell me, what do you find most compelling? and intriguing about your character. Oh, wow, about my character? Yes. Well, up until this last iteration, I would say, um, I can say that about the whole thing. I, was, I would say the mystery of him. Mm. Um, uh, this, fr from the beginning, there's something uh, enigmatic about him that you don't, you know, it's interesting, something that Chad said to me when, um, the first day of the first film, the first day of the first film, I only shot for one day, but he said, he said, you should always get the sense that uh, as genteel as Sharon is, that if something went down, he could pull a shotgun out from underneath the counter and, and take care of business. And so you've got this guy who is so gentle, and in some ways the most gentle character in the kind of the heart of the film, and then at the same time, this character who, if he needs to, can be a ruthless killer. And where does that come from? And then on top of that, the kind of mystery of his relationship with, he, with Ian because he, he's, he's just so devoted to him. Ian, same question for you. I've never asked, I've been along for the ride, which has been a total thrill for me. I've interviewed you both yeah. for, you know, the movies. And uh, here we are, you know, again, number four. But I never asked you that question, even going back to the first one. Um, the, the intrigue about your particular character. Well, because it's, it's, it's always been written ambiguously, which is great. You know, he's left on the stage. He runs the hotel. He manages to extricate himself from some situations. He find, he's a survivor. God knows why. I probably got killed in about three demo scripts they wrote before they finally... Because you know what happened? They do that. They write, you know, they see what would happen if that character went or this character went, and they would try and work out who they'll bring in. I mean, I, uh, it's been a... It's, it's, it's a real pleasure every two years to go back and think, yeah, they'll come up with it, you know. They'll come up with something good. And then each year, as we said, the extremes of violence in it, but it's also very, it's, it's, we've talked about it, it's like sort of, um, the assassins come from all over the world to get down this guy who's like mo the most wanted list, you know. It's a pleasure to fight you, Mr. Wick. Which is, I mean, that was said in one, but it's literally like that too. So there's a degrees of this, which is like a film within a film. It's an interesting thing that people love it, and then you've got you know, the identification with, uh, with Keanu, with the character, with a dead wife, a dog, a missing car, and please don't fuck with him, you know. <laughs> Dude, I love you. <laughs> you both, this, it's so good. We good. saw it last night. It's Glad still in my freaking head, dude. Love you both. Stay safe. Seriously, thanks for your time, man. Seriously, enjoyed it. Take care, Thanks. Brother. All right, see you guys.